Hi, my name's Pete, this is Emma, and this is Baby Birdie. We are the backpacking family. We've been backpacking through Central Asia and we keep seeing these places. Burger and sushi. But being highly cultured travellers, we thought we've got to give this a go. And to be honest, it's good news because I like burgers, Emma likes sushi, so this could be good. I just can't imagine what it's going to look like. Do you put the sushi inside the burger and then slap some ketchup on? Or is it a burger inside sushi rice? Let's go and see. Because it's on. This is it, I am so excited. Burger and sushi, and I am the burger boy. And you know what? When you get a burger here, apparently it comes with a pair of rubber gloves. So I feel like I'm a doctor about to carry out some kind of personal operation, but uh, I can't even get this on, it's too small. My big, big hands, small Asian gloves, it's not quite working. But I feel like I need to get the proper attire on before I tuck into this burger. It would be rude not to. Come on. See, wrestling gloves on with a hungry baby and a massive burger in front of me is my definition of a worthy challenge. Right, let's have a look at this. Oh, amazing. I think that's fried onion, lovely burger pate, and let's see what this bad boy has to offer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. That was a surprisingly good burger. We're here in the middle of a dusty town. It's um, in the middle of Kyrgyz family. You wouldn't expect a burger of that quality. The pate is delicious, the balance of sauces and the uh, crispy onions. It's just absolutely delicious. But I'm going to need to let Emma have a go with sushi, so... Oh, he just said, are you ready? Like, yeah, I'm ready. This is amazing. I did not expect this. Like he said, outside is dusty and dirty. And in here, you've got what looks to be perfectly clean sushi. I think Pete's enjoying the burger. And my word, I, this actually looks so high end for sushi. I'm just going to go for it. So this one is salmon. It's got that maki stuff going on. Oh my word. In the soy it goes. Wasabi, might get a bit of a reaction here. I'm just going to blab that. Uh oh, it's falling apart. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> okay, that was a mistake. I can't even enjoy the wasabi. I know I can. Wasabi has gone. That salmon is perfect. Wow, it's broiled, it's part cooked. This is just incredible. I can't believe they have everything. Baby boy is ready to rock. Apparently, you can have sushi and burgers in the same place. I've never seen this before. If you've seen it anywhere else in the world, let me know. I can't believe this is the thing. This is like two happy people, or three happy people. Oh, I'm going to dig in. Just show you guys what we actually do to feed our little boy. So, quite often we're trying to work out which bit of food works best. So there you go, I had some bread. And we've been breaking down the sushi. There's cream cheese in there and rice. And it's so fresh, we're happy to be giving it to our baby boy. Love this place. So cultured, aren't we? <laughs> this is quite ridiculous. <laughs> Soy sauce? Wasabi? Who doesn't have that on chips? So it turns out that was actually quite a cultured experience. The food was surprisingly good. Mind you, I have to say, wasabi, soy sauce and chips, not too sure about the mix. Personally, I liked it, but I don't necessarily think it would take. I'd do that at home. <laughs> Oh, it's bedtime. Wasabi, might get a bit of a reaction here. I'm just going to blab that. Uh oh, it's falling apart. Uh oh, uh oh. Shut up. 